It's been a minute since we've talked about how to properly clean a washing machine. In fact, it's been about eight years. The last time we did that video, we were in our old house in an unfinished basement with entirely different laundry appliances. A lot has changed since then and I've kind of re-engineered the technique. So in this video, we're gonna go through top to bottom, left to right, how to properly clean and deodorize your washing machine and how to maintain it so that it can live a nice, long, fruitful life in your home doing your dirty work. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you can't wait for the washing machine slash dryer combo that takes your stuff directly from the washing machine, puts it into the dryer, and then pops it out of the dryer, folded and ready to go in your drawers. People often ask the frequency of doing this particular type of cleaning, and I think it entirely depends on how frequently you're using your machine. And that would be dictated by how many people are in your family and approximately how many loads of laundry you do a week. If you're a single person or two of you living in a home, you're probably doing less laundry than a family of three, four, or seven. So just keep that in mind. If you do a lot of laundry, say a load a day, you might wanna consider doing this once a month. But if you're doing one or two loads a week, you can probably get away with doing this once a quarter. So since the last time we put out the video, we've kind of rethought the whole cleaning the interior drum process and we've slimmed it down. We used to do two loads, now we're just gonna do one. So the way that I want you to start is like this. Take everything out of the washing machine. You want an empty drum and you're gonna create a paste with two parts baking soda and one part water. Now the reason I like this paste is because baking soda is our friend, it's a little bit gritty, so it's gonna help remove any of that buildup that could be stuck on the drum. Baking soda is also great at deodorizing and we know that the inside of a washing machine drum can be a little bit on the side. All right, so we're gonna take that solution, dip a sponge, into it and start to just gently apply it and scrub the inside of the drum. This shouldn't take very long. I know it sounds laborious, but it actually can go quite quickly. So you're just gonna work your way around the drum and I would just spin it and scrub, spin it and scrub. Once that's done, you're gonna take a microfiber cloth, get it nice and wet and start to wipe out the baking soda. So again, just give it a good spin like you're on the prices right, give it a wipe, spin again, wipe and make sure that all that baking soda, or as much as possible, is out. The second step is to take a cup of white vinegar and to it, you're going to add 10 drops of tea tree essential oil. This is a great and powerful combination. The vinegar is going to help break down soap scum and odors, and the tea tree essential oil is great at tackling mold and mildew and odor causing bacteria. So throw those two things, don't throw them, gently pour them into the detergent tray and set your cycle for the hottest possible cycle or the tub clean cycle. Either is going to work and they should essentially do the same thing. By the time that is done, your machine is going to be not only visually sparkling, but should smell a lot better. And the thing I love the most is when something has been cleaned and it smells like nothing. Now there are products that you can buy that would sort of shortcut you from having to do the DIY version I just described. Either will work well and let me clear up some fake news for you because you might have been scrolling through Instagram or Facebook and seen my face associated with some cleaning tablet for a washing machine or a dishwasher that you've otherwise never heard of. Well, the funny thing is neither have I, and they actually stole that footage from a campaign that we did many years ago with Afresh. Afresh is one of the products that you can use to clean your machine. It's a tablet. There are other mach uh, machine cleaning products out there that come in gel form. We've had great relationships with two brands that we've worked with in the past for machine cleaners. And I can assure you, none of those Ads are active right now, so if you see me holding up a tablet, just know that that is stolen footage. You know what it feels like. It's warm, it's rubbery, it's a little bit slimy. It's your washing machine gasket, and it gets disgusting. It's important to stay on top of keeping this clean because I've gotta tell you, that's like the epicenter of odors in your washing machine. So there are a couple of things you can do. We'll talk about like the actual cleaning, and then we'll talk about the maintenance. 
you want to clean it and if it's not in dire condition what you can do is make a solution with equal parts dish soap and vinegar to that solution is add 10 drops of tea tree oil for reason previously mentioned mix that all up get a soft sponge and apply it to the outside and the inside of the gasket you've really got to get your hand and your sponge in there you want to kind of agitate it and scrub it around and this is going to help break down any of that odor causing bacteria and that buildup that just kind of gets trapped in the gasket over time now when that's done take a microfiber cloth soaked in water and give it a really good rinse just to get rid of any of that suds and any of the remaining vinegar now if your gasket really has seen better days and you think that it's beyond repair it's worth replacing now you can find videos online about how to do it yourself. I always feel like when it comes to something like an appliance or something that's expensive, rather than trying to jimmy rig it, I would much prefer bringing in a professional and letting them do it. We actually looked into it and there's quite a bit of work that you have to do to replace the gasket. You have to remove several parts of the machine. And the thing I always worry about is potentially voiding the warranty. So here's what I'll tell you. Your machine costs several hundred dollars. It's probably gonna cost a couple hundred dollars to replace the gasket. You might as well just bring in a pro and let them do it the right way. Maintaining the exterior of the washing machine is a breeze. You can just use all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth, give it a good wipe down. The thing I have found over the years, cleaning hundreds of places and hundreds of laundry rooms, you get a lot of soap residue. And it's just because, you know, you're pouring soap, some spills, eh, big deal. You kind of move on with your day, but over time it builds up. So the best thing you can do is just take a damp cloth, give it a wipe, a couple scrubs, and it should be gone. If you notice any detergent caught in buttons or wheels, you can just use a cleaning toothbrush that's slightly dampened, give it a little bit of a scrub and wipe it down. An area that we often forget to clean, but that really needs attention is the detergent tray. And here's the reason. Soap feeds bacteria. A nice, dark, damp environment, which is where your detergent tray is, quite literally, is the perfect breeding ground for that odor-causing bacteria and other moldy buildup that you can experience in your machine. That's why it's so important to remove it and give it a good cleaning. Now, the exact same solution we use for the gasket is going to be perfect for cleaning your detergent tray. As well, if you pick up a store-bought liquid or gel machine cleaner, that would work just fine for cleaning that tray as well. A few rapid fire tips to keep in mind to keep your machine clean and smelling fresh for as long as possible. Your doors should always be open when they're not in use. That goes for your detergent tray door as well as your actual washing machine door itself. When those two are open, air is allowed to circulate, which means the odor causing bacteria doesn't have access to that warmth and moisture that it thrives on, so keep that in mind. This is one of those great pieces of advice that I try to keep in mind each and every time. I'm not perfect at it, but I do it as often as I can remember, and that is to wipe the inside of the door and the gasket after each load of laundry. Now, the easy way to do that is just to keep a microfiber cloth on top of your washing machine for that specific purpose. It doesn't take that long. Honestly, when I'm in a rush, I forget to do it. But when I see the cloth there, it signals me and it reminds me. And what this does, it removes any of that soap scum, both from the door and inside the gasket so that moisture isn't there. Therefore, that bacteria buildup, which causes odor and that mold can't actually grow. It's kind of the same as using a squeegee in your shower after each shower. Another great way to keep your machine from smelling unsavory is to move your laundry over as quickly as you can. So when you hear the bell, dinger, whatever you want to call it, move it on over to the dryer. That just prevents odor causing bacteria from lingering and building up. Also, make sure that you're using the right amount of laundry detergent for the load. If you use too little, too much dirt will be left behind in the machine after the wash and your clothing actually won't come out looking great. And if you use too much, you're gonna have soap scum lingering behind. So use those little notches on the cup to think, is my machine a third full, halfway full, or three quarters full? And that should really tell you how much detergent you should be using. And finally, we have a video on this, and the only reason we have a video on, on it is because my mom kept telling me that I had to do this, otherwise I would have had no idea. And that is to clean your washing machine filter. I'm gonna link that video for you down below. 
And that leads me to this week's comment question. This is a bit of a fantasy land question, so bear with me. If you could have a butler or a housekeeper take one cleaning job off your hands, you'd never have to do that job again for the rest of your life, and they'd be there every day at your house doing that one job, what would it be? Would it be laundry? Would it be dishes? Would it be tidying your bathroom, making your bed? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, it would be dishes 100%. I could do laundry all day, every day, but dishes, that's a lot of work. Remember to follow makers.clean on Instagram for all of the latest product drops and sales. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about Makers Clean Microfiber Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There is a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.